Okay, so this is for the guardrail people because I want them to be able to see what happens to a fire affected community when they're trying to evacuate and um, the guardrails are wood. And I just passed a whole bunch, but I'm hoping I see some more. So imagine this is your evacuation route. And I'm on Felton grade right now, CZU Lightning Complex Fire, Santa Cruz County. And um, of course, as soon as I picked up my phone, there were not guardrails, but um, there were several before. I'm sure we'll see them again. And they're all burned. So imagine you're scared and see all the trees that are burned around. Those are already on fire. Um, but then, hold, hold up, it's going to happen, there it is, They're coming up right here, those are burned out guardrails, okay, they have one, they have steel lining, and the rest is all burned, and imagine how terrifying that that one thing that you, because you can't really see where you're going, it's very, very hard to navigate during a, a major a mega fire, and including having your infrastructure contribute to the lack of safety is to me um, insane and this is why it actually matters so I'm gonna see if I can get one more down here I'm sorry because I'm being a responsible driver and I'm not actually looking at the video camera um, I'm I'm just hoping that I get it enough so this doesn't look like an insane person did this because drive imagine wildfire I'm driving very slowly right now at um, 25 miles an hour all of this burned this see the see that what that's up ahead that is a guardrail with wood beams they're burned see that all of that it's unacceptable and it, there's no good reason and if they're going to replace them then we want them to be steel 